There was a time when Germany had many of the finest scientists, technologists, doctors, well-educated scholars in the world. Uh, even social covenant in a contract, a very civilized society. They had brilliant achievements. And yet this well-educated, successful populace came to believe that a man, their leader, could save their nation by getting rid of what he convinced them was bad and promoting what he convinced them was good. This man did not submit to any greater authority. He scoffed at the idea that he should submit to God. Der Führer was the ultimate authority, and he required not only the armed forces to swear allegiance to him, but also German pastors to swear allegiance to him. You know his name, Adolf Hitler. Putting oneself on the ultimate throne of authority, claiming to know how to save a nation is not a one-time tragedy. We've seen it repeatedly. Stalin, Lenin, Mao, Pol Pot, just a few of the names that have uh, illustrated what happened when somebody thought they knew what was best. And these individuals used technology to murder millions of, hundreds of millions of innocent people. Evidence shows repeatedly that when we try to save ourselves by being great, we fail. We can never be as good as we think we could be. We all fall short, myself included. Like most students who come to MIT, I had straight A's, number one in high school, number two, Georgia Tech, um, 5.0, PhD, course six here at MIT, some of the best friends a person could ask for, dated the cutest guys on the football team, high school. Um, I'm blessed with loving parents. On the faculty at MIT, I made it from the bottom all the way through tenure, promotion as full professor. I have a husband who is also a MIT course six alum. Uh, we met in the computer room on a Friday night, he reminded me. Um, you might wanna go to one after this event. Uh, he, he is amazing, um, married to me for 23 years, deserving of great respect and admiration. We have three loving sons, truly the best boys on the planet, I'm not biased. Uh, um, in research, you know, I've received thousands of citations, um, hundreds of keynote invitations, it, gratified to know my work has helped other people. I, I feel, you know, enormously blessed by much of this and it brings me great joy, but you know what? Um, all of this, this worldly success, it, pales completely in comparison to the greatest thing in my life. Knowing and being known by the one who made it all, the one from whom every good thing comes, the one who knows what the world truly needs to be saved, the one who knows and loves every single person on our planet, uh, you and me included, whether or not we behave in a lovable way, whether we respond with love in return, or whether we spit in return. None of my achievements, none of the generous gifts I've been given, even begin to compare with experiencing the abundant peace, mercy, grace, joy, healing, strength, and more when we but open our hands to receive these gifts. That gift giver, I believe, is the greatest hope and saving influence. Don't get me wrong, I still fall short, but my life is so much improved, so much more abundant, filled with peace for having taken myself off the throne of thinking what is best that I could know and make those perfect decisions. You can experience this too, uh, but you would also have to be willing to put one in charge of your life who knows how to run it better than you do. To conclude, I want to build great technology to help our world, and I want to give of whatever I have to help people in need, whether they have autism, epilepsy, a lack of ability to speak, or some other challenge that we might invent new technology to help. I delight in this work. But an even greater delight, um, the deepest I have ever experienced, is in knowing and being known by the ultimate source of all knowledge, power, mercy, strength, and goodness. This is the knowledge of the one who loves every person on the planet, the one who truly saves the world. Thank you.